How's it going everybody? It is Pack Dude here and I just want to welcome you guys to my 100 subscribers special. Thank you guys so much. 100 subscribers. It's been a long journey but I finally hit it. 100 subs. Well 101 subs as of October 26, 2016. So I just wanted to thank you guys so much. It's been an amazing journey so far and hopefully I have more room to grow. I definitely have more room to grow. So let's get straight into it for this 100 subscriber special I will be doing a Q&A uh, some features some questions that some of my friends have asked me so and they just wanted to learn more about me so here here are some of the questions that some of my friends have asked me so let's go ahead and get right into it the first question is from Chris the gamer or Chris he asked me if you were stuck on an island and could have only one video game for the rest of your life which one would you choose that's a great question the one game I would choose and honestly this is pretty hard this has been pretty hard um, but the one game I did choose is Kingdom Hearts 2 Kingdom Hearts 2 is my favorite game of all time I never get sick of it I do like one playthrough at least one playthrough a year it is my absolute pride and joy that game I grew up with the Kingdom Hearts series ever since I was a kid so um, it's my favorite series, it's my favorite, um, Kingdom Hearts 2 is my favorite game. I just love it, I love it a lot. It's, has a special place in my heart. I actually do plan on, uh, streaming it one day, and I actually answered a, a question that's gonna come up in a second, but, uh, anyway. That's my answer to your question. If I was stuck on an island, I will have one game for the rest of my life, it's Kingdom Hearts 2. Next question is from Hi Daniel MC 17 or... Daniel, he asks, recently you have shared your OCs and drawings of yourself. My question is, what made you decide to start drawing? Well, what made me start to start drawing is, I actually uh, have been drawing for years. Well, I wouldn't say that. I actually uh, loved drawing when I was a kid, and I actually uh, stopped drawing for a while until like last year when I started drawing again. Uh, it's basically just like I don't know I, I kind of got a like a yearly hiatus of drawing for a while um, I don't know why I decided to stop drawing for a while but I'm back into it um, uh, what made me start drawing again well what made me start drawing again was mostly be some of my friends who uh, who are really good drawers like uh, like Genetera or Frisia or Fash or uh, <clears throat> or excuse me, or uh, Tammy, or some of my friends in real life, uh, they're really good drawers. So they really, they were really my motivation to uh, to start drawing again. So uh, yeah, that basically is my inspiration to start drawing again. And Daniel's second question is, what was your first impression of everyone in the group when you met them? Okay, so. Um, I honestly didn't think about this. Uh, okay, this is gonna be a long one. Maybe it depends. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need to. I need a list right here to see what everybody in the group or the Yoshi clan, I should say. Okay. Um, okay, this is gonna be long. Okay, so. Let me give a quick synopsis of everybody in the group in like a couple words or less. So <laughs> everybody in the group is great. I like I love everyone in the group. They're great people. They're nice. They're fun to hang around. Sometimes we have our differences. Sometimes we do get a little testy from then to then, but at the end of the day, that's how friends are. They always argue. Uh, that's how that's how your friendship is strong. You argue and then you get back into it. That's how you know your friendship is strong. So that's pretty much my synopsis of pretty much everybody in the group. So in so far at least. Um, okay, so next question. Uh, this is from George D G W or George. He asks King Kong or Godzilla. I'd say ah, that's hard. Uh, duh, 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 duh. King Kong or Godzilla? That's actually really hard. Because uh, I watched both of their movies growing up as a kid. 
I'd say Godzilla will win, but it would be cr it'd be a close match though. Uh, a, cl a really close match. I say Godzilla will win in the end though. That's just me though. I'm personally more of a Godzilla fan than King Kong. And George's other question was, what inspires you to create my OCs? Um, what inspires me is mostly making like mostly anime and video games. They inspire me the most, most especially RPGs when it comes to video games, because uh, RPGs are really made for the uh, the characters and the story. And I actually really liked um, drawing characters and making stories for them. So if you have been following me on Twitter, then you would know that I actually uh, put up two OCs so far and I made two, sto two stories for each of them, two backstories for each of them. And I'm gonna be making more as uh, the time goes on, but uh, yeah, it, what inspires me is mostly like games and anime, like stuff like that. And I like really like dark backstories, like the, the two characters that are up on Twitter so far, they have really, really dark backstories and I actually really, like dark bass stories, so yeah, that's what inspires me. All right, next question is from Via Vanille or Gina. Uh, what part of the world would you like to visit the most? Um, as a kid, I always wanted to visit Italy. It was it's my dream vacation, my dream vacation spot. Mostly because, most because of the uh, the culture there. It's a beautiful place, very beautiful. I love the food. It, Italian food is my favorite. Um, Mostly because it's a very like it's a very beautiful environment, like a really uh, beautiful place to be around because of all the rivers, um, all the bridges, all of that, all the food. It's like it's a really beautiful place. I really like Italy. I really hope I would do uh, go there one day. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful place. Love it. All right, next question is from Genetera or Jen. Um, what other hobbies would you have taken if you weren't doing YouTube videos? Now, uh, I've been thinking about this uh, all day today, and the answer I give to that is, um, probably some drawing videos, or, uh, yeah, maybe some drawing videos, because, uh, if I weren't doing YouTube video, oh, if I weren't doing YouTube, oh, I thought the question was like, Oh, okay, now I understand. What other hobbies would I have taken if I wasn't doing YouTube videos in general, not just gaming videos in general? Um, I'd probably be playing some more basketball. I'd probably be uh, playing some more basketball, football. I'd probably be doing playing more sports. Or I'd start drawing more. I'd probably get better at my drawing. To uh, Yeah, I'm actually doing getting better at my drawing right now. Right now, I'm kind of kind of average, but I think I'm starting to get better. Um, yeah, so probably like either sport, playing some sports or, uh, or drawing more. And her next question is, Jen's next question is, I noticed have been streaming as of late. Nice grammar, Jen. Are you planning on streaming more often? If so, what games do you plan on streaming? Alright, so this is a little bit of an update for you guys as well. So, yes, I have been streaming of late. Um, are, am I planning to stream more often? Absolutely. I'm actually planning on streaming this Sunday and planning to do part two of uh, Super Mario RPG and um, continuing that. And games that I plan on streaming in the future, I'm planning on streaming Rhythm Heaven Fever once I get that. And um, I'm also planning on streaming the Pac-Man World series and uh, also the Kingdom Hearts series as well. That's going to be a long like a series like one after one game after another the Kingdom Hearts series is going to be one after another so uh, like a big long marathon before Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out so yeah that's my stream schedule for you I usually stream on weekends by the way just so you know I'll probably give you guys updates on that on my Twitter account link is in the description below all right next question is from Nanostelic or Josh who is my main in Smash or who is my who is my main in Smash I'm stupid. What was who was my main in Brawl? My main in Brawl was actually Olimar. He was actually a beast back then. Cause back when he had six Pikmin instead of like I think he has three now or four. I think he has uh, four now. But he had six back then, and he he was an absolute monster. Back then, I used to kill my uh, used to kill my friend back in the day. But uh, they nerfed him, which is really unfortunate. 
If he wasn't nerfed, he still had 6 pm, I'd probably still be using him today. Alright, next question is from Lario Plays or Lawrence. He asks, during your time as a YouTuber, what has creating content taught you? Life lessons, creativity wise, etc. Great question. That's a great question, Lawrence. Um, during my time as a YouTuber, I've content creating it. It taught me ways of being being variety. God, I can't speak today. Um, it taught me ways of having variety and having a lot of um, different content, being different, and being having a bunch of content on my channel. And um, it it taught me how to be be more have more variety in my videos. As of late, I've um, uploaded more videos that are different from gaming, well, different from Let's Plays in general, like my uh, my Audacity uh, voice tutorials, my Overwatch highlight videos, and my streams. They are uh, just, the, they're just beginning to be honest. I'm actually planning on doing a bunch of other stuff as well to my channel as well, because that's my one, that was my one goal when creating my channel is to have variety, so. So yeah, there's that. And in terms of life lessons, it taught me have it taught me a lot about having patience, definitely. Especially when it comes to rendering videos, editing them, uploading them, all of that. It taught me to have a lot of patience, definitely. That's for sure. Alright, next question is from uh Crow Chrono X or Nick. He has What made you start doing Let's Plays and what drives you to keep going? Um, what made me start doing Let's Plays? Mostly Okay, here's a story. <laughs> I actually made a bunch, and I mean a bunch, of Let's Play channels before. And they either ended in my channel getting suspended, or me just ignoring that channel altogether. So, me as a kid, I loved to watch, um, watch Chuck and Conroy. I love to watch Nintendo Capri Sun. I uh, love watching Masa and Nella, Lukagen. Um, they were really great LP. They're really great LPs. So they're the ones that inspire me, and they're the ones that made me start doing Let's Plays in general. Um, yeah, I made like so many different channels as a kid. I made like like six channels, I think. There was one. Yeah, there was like around six channels that I made before that I just wanted to stick. And then once I got older and once I started to, you know, have more common sense, I was like, okay, one channel, stay right there. Don't move, ever. Just keep it that way. And then, Pack D was born. So, next question is from Raish Vexus. He asked, do you have a favorite fighting game? If so, which one? My favorite fighting game is actually Soul Calibur 2. Um, that's because, um, well, the GameCube version of Soul Calibur 2, because, you know, it had Link on it and everything. But uh, Soul Calibur 2 is uh, the fighting game that me and my brother have played for for years. Me and my brother played Soul Calibur 2 so much, you have no idea. Um, he always killed me, though, because you know, he he's much older than me, so of course he's going to be better. But, uh, yeah, we but we still have fun, so... Me and my brother, we played it. We played Soul Calibur 2 a bunch. And that pretty much drive, uh, drives me to have a, a really love for fighting games in general. So yeah, uh, Soul Calibur 2, favorite fighting game. And his other question is, that he asked on Skype by the way. What made you fall in love with Pac-Man as a series? Um, Pac-Man to me, I love Pac-Man mostly because of his legacy. Uh, he's the one that pretty much made. He's the guy that made video games as big as it is now. I mean, a lot of people say it was Mario, and, it, and granted, Mario is a very innovative and a very influential character himself. But Pac-Man, he's the one who started, in my opinion. He's the guy. He's the pioneer of video games, in my opinion. And um, and Pac-Man World One. Pac-Man World 1 was actually one of my first video games that I ever played, and I absolutely loved it. It was my first platformer, too. I absolutely loved that game, and I loved the series in general. I loved 1, 2, and even 3 sometimes. Um, 
Pac-Man Worlds as a series is uh, very dear to me because, again, it's my first platforming series. It's the first game I've ever played, Pac-Man's Legacy. That just, all of it right there is why I love Pac-Man so much. All right, next question is from uh, Skevin or Shadow Kirby 707. She asks, "What is the strength and weaknesses for drawing? What is my strength and weaknesses for drawing?" Okay, I definitely know what my weakness is. It's hands. I cannot stand drawing hands. Like, ugh, I don't know what it is. Like, drawing hands for me is like it's just so hard for me. I don't know why. Like, mostly because of the fingers, not because of the hands itself. Mostly because of the fingers. Drawing like each finger as thin as they can it's mostly because I draw the fingers too fat like I draw the fingers like like this big like this big even though it's like this is I draw it like this and it's, it's it's so bad like I draw I draw hands terribly guys but uh, I think my strength for drawing would probably be uh, probably I say probably eyes or hair. I probably say probably eyes or the body shape. Even though I kind of suck at eyes, I think I, I enjoy drawing eyes. I think it's really enjoyable to me. And body shape, I, I like bodies too. Drawing bodies as well. I think that's my strength. And weaknesses is definitely hands. So, uh, yeah, I think that is uh, all the questions, is it? Uh, yeah, it is. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this Q&A. Uh, a little bit of an update for you. Yes, Trauma Team is still going on. I'm sorry that it's been. So, I'm sorry, Trauma Team has been so inconsistent and so um, slow lately. It's mostly because I've been, you know, doing some other things, and also I've been kind of busy with school as well. So, yeah, Trauma Team is still going on. I haven't recorded Trauma Team in like months. So, <laughs> so yeah, Trauma Team, yeah, it's still going on. Um, the next voice tutorial is uh, recorded and is edited as well, and it should be uploaded, I think, I say tomorrow or either tomorrow or Friday. That's my best guess. So either tomorrow or Friday is when the next voice tutorial is going to come up. And uh, yeah, the next stream is going to be on Sunday, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're doing part two of Super Mario RPG. So we're going to continue that. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. I really appreciate it. So, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.